Hey there, press the bell icon and never miss a video on cyber security and technology. Hello everyone, this is Ansh from Bitten Tech and today we are going to talk about a special type of hack which is called click jacking. I will tell you what it is, how it is done and of course how you can stay safe. So let's get started. Most of you already know that websites are built in HTML language, right? This language is not as easy as it seems. There are several layers on a single web page. These layers are made for displaying another web page or content on the same site. So there are several windows displaying contents of some other website. You might have seen this when you visit websites which have lots and lots of ads. So this concept of multiple layers is made possible by a tag called iframe in the HTML language. Web page developers use this tag for creating web pages which are embedded inside another web page. Now what hackers do is, they exploit this function of the iframe tag. They create several transparent or opaque layers on a website. They usually do this over ads. Let me tell you how it's done. Suppose you are visiting a website. Then you may be prompted like you have won an iPhone 6 and click here to claim your gift. Or something like get admission in top colleges, no rank required. Click here or click there to claim it. These type of advertisements on a website are common target of hackers. They will trick you to make you click on a click button. You will click on that button, but that's not what it looks like. You may be redirected to some other page, but what happens behind the scene is you clicked on something hackers wanted you to click, not what you thought it to be. Now it can be anything. You can be made to click on a download button which will download a malicious script or trojan or a virus on your computer or anything ambiguous. You may have noticed this often when you try to download movies or songs. You are not clicking on what you see, you are actually clicking on an overlay. You cannot see any download button or any other button so you can't simply figure out what is happening. You click something else and you did something else. So clickjacking is a malicious practice in which an attacker tricks a user to click on another web page who actually clicks on something else or the top level page. In this attack, you don't click on what you see but what hackers want you to. The word clickjacking is derived from the word hijacking. It means that someone hijacks your clicks on any website or a web page. Attackers inject an HTML code with an iframe on the website. Suppose you are checking your mail. Suddenly a dialog pops up which says you have won an iPad, click here to get it. You may or may not click, but there are some people who will surely click that button. But below the overlay, it can be a command to delete all the messages in your inbox or send a message to somebody you don't know. In this case, you don't even know what will happen after you click that button. It can be a command to shut down your computer or alter your system files. It is not only limited to personal computers. It is also seen on Android phones. It creates fake overlays on a mobile screen. One of the most popular examples of this type of clickjacking is clock and dagger attack, which was very popular a few months ago. It is totally based on advanced clickjacking. It creates fake overlays on a mobile screen. Then it tricks the user to click on an install button and malicious app is installed on the phone with all the necessary permissions to completely take over your phone. Keylogging is very easy through this attack. Hacker can log all your keystrokes through clickjacking. They create overlays on your keyboard and record the pattern of your typing. 
Later, they process the records and make out exactly what all you have typed. It is also called a UI redress attack because it manipulates the user interface and betrays the user who clicked on what was shown to him. Now there is not much you can do about this attack and prevent it. You cannot do anything about it. All that can be done is by Google and Microsoft themselves. As a user, at most you can do is be aware, be alert. Never click on such ads which claim to offer you gifts or services for free. Nothing is for free in this world. If an ad or a pop-up appears after clicking on a link, immediately close it. If something automatically gets downloaded on your system after clicking on something which was not a download button, delete it straight away. Most probably it's some malware. As a developer, include X frame options in all of your web pages. This will prevent your site from being a medium of click jacking and will prevent it from being placed within a frame. Induce more security. Include captcha verification from users after clicking on a button. This will not eliminate click jacking but will surely slow down the attacker and reduce the risk of it. So that's it. That was all about click jacking in this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions or queries, please do let me know in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more information like this on cyber security and technology. So until next video, stay tuned, keep watching and goodbye.